Hey, I'm so glad you joined me today. Get comfortable and watch as I show you how I make my protein packed veggie burger. Let's do it. I already have my organic black beans rinsed and in my Ninja, so I'm going to make them into a paste. So we're gonna put these in our mixing bowl. It mashed most of them, but there's a few beans that didn't mash, so I'm gonna mash them with my spoon. So here's our bean paste. Now I'm going to add in some mushrooms. You can use baby bella or white mushrooms, shiitake, whatever kind is your favorite. Or you don't have to use mushrooms at all. It's totally up to you. I'm using diced red onion. You can use yellow onion, uh, Vidalia onion. Again, it's your call or no onions at all if you're like opposed to onions. I'll leave the recipe down below. So if you're wondering how much is she putting in of each item, that will be down below so you can check it out. And by the way, I love to connect with you. So leave me comments. That's the beauty of this recipe is you can add whatever you want to it. One thing I've thought about and I haven't done yet, but I'm going to try is adding avocado, like mash up the avocado and mix it into the bean paste. I think that would be pretty amazing. Now I'm going to add in nutritional yeast, hemp hearts, gluten-free breadcrumbs. I did not have those, so I made them myself. I made, uh, I toasted some gluten-free bread and then I put it in my Ninja and I made breadcrumbs. Now I'm gonna add in my seasoning. This is paprika. It's pink Himalayan salt and ground black pepper. I left a cup of the beans whole. I'm gonna add those to the mixture now. And I have gelled chia seed. Instead of using egg, you can use a couple of eggs, but I'm using the gelled chia seed instead. I'm gonna add that and then mix this all together. This is such an easy recipe and tastes amazing. Now I'm gonna put on my handy dandy gloves because if you watch me much, you know I don't like to get my hands all nasty and gooey. I'm making several veggie burgers today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook one of them and have a taste test, but the rest I will put on my baking sheet with parchment paper and quick freeze them in my freezer so that I can stack them and put them um, in a freezer bag and pull one out as needed. And there's my little veggie patty. These are packed with a lot of protein and the nutritional yeast flakes adds a lot more vitamins and ribo, riboflavin, riboflavin, <laughs> I don't know how you say that. I have my cast iron skillet warming up on the stove top with some grapeseed oil and we're gonna get one of these protein packed veggie burgers cooking here in just a minute. I'm going to cook the burger for three minutes on the first side, then I'll flip it over to the other side and cook for another three, three and a half minutes. Then we'll come back and do a taste test. Here is my cooked protein packed veggie burger. I like a little yellow mustard on mine. You can put it on a bun, if you're gluten-free, you can put it on gluten-free bread. You can have lettuce, tomato, all kinds of stuff. But just for the sake of tasting it, I'm just putting a little mustard on there and we will take a bite. Mm. That is so good. Wow. Thank you so much for watching The Ginger Optimist. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, I hope you will. If you wanna know every time a new video is coming out, hit the bell. Thanks again, my friend, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless, bye.